Right, children? So there was confusion, so I told not to do. But if you have done, it's okay. It's no problem. Mom, in the and in the third question, do we need to estimate the questions? Ha, they... you have, no, you have to first round off the number to a nearest higher number and then take the sum. Okay. But, okay. Mom, but I rounded off the answer. No, better. You have to first round off the numbers, add ins. Okay. Add ins and the subtract ins, you just have to round them off and then take the sum or the difference. Okay. Okay, beta. And you can post your homework on the group. Okay, Neha? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I can at least see and discuss whatever your the mistakes now. Ma'am, can I paste it now? Can I send it now? What happened? Can I, uh, can I send the photos now? Yes, you can send the photos on the WhatsApp. Okay. As Lakshita has sent no, so you can also send. You can send on the group. Okay, let's begin today's work. Yes, who's this? Somebody said something? No, no. Okay. Okay, so what did we do in the previous class? Who can remind me? Who can remind me what we did in the previous class? We did rectangle and um, trapezium. No. Okay, we did some properties of rectangle and trapezium. And what else? Mom, we also did some exercises in the test book about angles. Yes. So we did about angles also, you know, and some direction-based questions and resolutions kind of those questions. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Great. So well, let's do something more today. Mom, actually, I'm not able to send messages. I'm not able to send messages in the group. How come that? Mom, it says only admins can share messages. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. Okay. Only admins can share messages. So, so, then you send it personally. Okay. What else to say? Okay. Or you can even put it on the wise app. You can send it personally also. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's do. Today we'll talk about triangles on the basis of angles. We have very few things in this chapter now. For this Sunday test, you will be having your the same chapter, understanding elementary shapes. Okay? This time you will be having your subjective test, right? Yes, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This Sunday you have your subjective test, not objective. Okay, it will be subjective and your syllabus is the same chapter in understanding elementary shapes. Okay, so revise okay. this lesson nicely so that you can do good in the text. Mom, so we need to write it down in a in paper and send the photo, right? Yes, you have to make a PDF and send. Don't send uh, just a photo. Okay. A PDF and then send. Yes, because some... Because sometimes, one second, uh, okay. Because sometimes what happens, the paper does not reach me properly. Okay. But if it is in a PDF form, it definitely reaches. Yes. Okay, children, so let's do, uh, we'll do some 
things first, and afterwards we'll from on the textbook part. So today is what is the date today? First. First. Okay. You know how to measure angles with a protector? Children, yes, have you seen protector in your geometry box? Yes, ma'am. So you know how to measure angle with a protector? Suppose yes. if I give you some angle here like this, will you be able to measure with your protector? Yes, ma'am. How do you how do you do that? See, in your protector, you have like this horizontal line, is it? The below line here. How, how is the pro, how does the protector looks like? It's a semi-circle kind. No, it's a semi-circle thing. And I, like this, you have all angles on it. Okay, right? It's yes, like this. So one in there are two lines in them. In one line, the angles are written from zero to one hundred eighty. And in the other line, angles are written from 0 to this side, 180. Is it? Yes, it's like that? Yes, so from both sides, you can measure angles. Okay? So, if suppose I have this angle here, then what do I do? I take this protector like this. I will lift up my protector. I will keep this point of the protector should be kept at this point of the angle, okay? This should coincide. And this baseline of the protector should coincide with the baseline of the angle, okay? Okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and then you just hold it firmly and see where is this line coinciding with? So which angle is this line coinciding with? Okay, you have so many lines here. So you have to see exactly where does this coincide, with which line is it coinciding and what angle is it formed here. So whatever you have, if you start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so many angles are there. Okay, So then you will find out what angle is it. So this angle may, may be 60 or 50, something like that. Okay? Yes. Right? So if you are measuring from here, that means you always measure angle from 0. So that is 0 degree and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Okay. And you can also see that if the angle is less than 90, then it obviously it's an acute angle. But suppose if I tell you to measure angle from this side. Suppose if I tell you to measure angle from this side. Then, what do, get? Uh, then what do you get? You coincide the baseline with this line here. And then you start counting from here, 0 degree. How say 0 degree, you will start counting. Whenever you count, you always count from the 0 side. So 0, you will count like this. And you can see this is going beyond 90 degrees. Is it? 90 degrees is the right angle. It's a straight line. But it is, if it is going beyond right angle, it's becoming obtuse angle. So you just have to be careful that what you are getting, which reading you have to read. Okay? Because there are two lines there, no? So don't make mistake in uh, while reading the correct. Okay? When you are measuring from this side, you should always see from where it is going. 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. You will follow the same line. If you are counting from this side, you should follow the same line. Okay? Yes. Okay, now classification of triangles. Let's classify types of triangles. We spoke about angles, no? We spoke about some triangles also, is it? Isn't that? No, yes. that was maybe in the yes. Mom, okay. we named the type of triangles in an exercise. We did learn about um I think that was the previous chapter. We where we had just three angles, no? I think so. Basic geometrical ideas. Okay. Now, see, we classify triangles on the basis of two things. One is on the basis of its sides and other thing on the basis of its angles. Right? 
Yes, sir. How do we classify the triangles on the basis of its sides also, on the basis of its angles also? Now, if we talk about sides, now if I have some triangle which has the, uh, whose sides are of different length, suppose this is A centimeter, this is some B centimeter, this is some other C centimeter, that means all its sides are different, is it? So we yes. call this type of triangle as scaling triangle. Okay? Yes. And suppose if we have another triangle where we say that the two sides of a triangle are equal. So the two out of three, the two sides are equal. Then we, I, we call such type of triangles as isosceles. You know that. And suppose if all the three sides are equal, then what do you call it? Equilateral. Very good. We call it equilateral triangle. Right? So yes, this sir. classification is based on sides. Just by looking at the side, we, we can classify the triangle, what type of a triangle is it. Now, what about if we classify uh, the, uh, on the basis of its angle? If we have to classify on the basis of its angle, then what do we say? Now, suppose if I have a triangle like this, which is making a right angle here, then what do I call such type of a triangle? Right angle triangle. Yes, I will call it right angle triangle. Yes. Okay. Yes, children. Yes, yes. Mika. Yes, so that is right angle triangle. Why I am calling it right angle triangle? Because there is one right, right angle. angle. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Another thing is that I have a triangle in which I have all the angles as acute angles. All the three angles are acute angles less than 90 degrees. So what do I call such type of triangle as? Acute, angle. acute angled triangle. Okay. In some books, it is written acute triangle also, but actually it should be called acute angled triangle. Okay. Where all the three angles in, an, in a triangle are acute. All are acute. Okay. Then I have another triangle where I say, like, suppose this. Okay, not this. This, like this triangle. Now, in this, I can see that two triangles, two angles are acute and one angle is obtuse. Is it? So, yes. I call such type of triangle as obtuse angled triangle. Okay. Obtuse angled triangle. In this, at least one angle should be obtuse. At least. It can even be more. But at least one acute angle should be this. Then I then only I can call it obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse angle triangle. Okay? Yes. In acute angle triangle, all the three angles should be acute. In right angle triangle, one right angle should be there. In obtuse angle triangle, one angle should be obtuse. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So, this was the classification based on the sides and angles of a triangle. Okay. Okay, now I'll give you some angles. You will tell me now what sort of angles are those. Okay, let's do. I'm giving you a triangle here. Ma? Yes? Can we do a sum with a protractor? Because I don't know how to use it. Okay. Okay, so now see, uh, what can you tell me about this triangle? What type of a triangle is this? It is an obtuse triangle. Okay. Uh, triangle. See, I have oh, the triangle. Right here. So this is scaling triangle. Okay. Huh. If you have to <laughs> classify it on the basis of angles, then I have not although mentioned angles here, but it's clearly visible here that the one of the angle is obtuse. So you can just call it obtuse angled triangle also. But my point over here was to highlight the sides. Okay. Yes. Now say, suppose if I say I have like this, some triangle like this, this is 
25 degrees say this is from 30 degrees this is 125 degrees. So what angle is this? Mom, obtuse angle. Obtuse angle triangle. Very good. So that's obtuse angle triangle. Okay. Okay. I'll give you some questions for homework. Here you can look it. Now you want that we should do some question with the construction part, with the protector. Okay, yes, now if I tell you to construct, make an angle of, make an, uh, make a 60 degree angle, <coughs> make a 60 degree angle using protector. Protractor. Okay, so 60 degree angle. Now see children, how will you do that? See. I don't have a protector here. I am just showing you. But if you have a protector, now you can use it. Now see, you just draw a line first in your notebook. Please draw a line in your notebook. Your first step, steps of construction is first one. Please, you can please note down the steps of construction. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, first step is to draw a straight line. Okay. First, draw a straight line. Then, take any point on the straight line. Approximately at the center. Okay. Take a point on the straight line. Take a point on it. Okay. So, just tentatively, it's... Somewhere around the center, okay? Not exactly center, but somewhere around the center. Right? It shouldn't be on, on the extreme ends. It should be somewhere in the center. Okay? So, take a point on it. Okay, now after the taking point, take your protector. Take your protector. Bring your protector. Keep a protector. Keep a protractor. On the line coinciding with the point, coinciding with the point and the baseline. Okay, and the baseline. So keep a protector on the line line coinciding with the point and the baseline. Now, take a protector, just keep your protector like this such that the point on the protector and the point on the line coincide. Coincide means they are one on top of the other. As if they should look just one point. Okay? I hope you are getting me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, the point, protector's point and the Lie point on the line should coincide, and even this baseline should coincide with the protector's baseline. Okay, this baseline should coincide with protector's baseline. Can you see this baseline? The cursor yes. should be this baseline should coincide with the cursor's baseline, and this point should coincide with the cursor's uh, protector's point. Yes, yes. done. Sure. Now, with this, what will you see? You will just find that some protector is lying on your line. Right? So, just press the protector and hold it firmly. It shouldn't be shaky. Right? So, like this, you'll get some protector. Now, measure. Your fourth step is to measure 60 degree angle. Measure 60 degree angle on it. Now, 60 degree angle from, how will you measure? You will start from 0 degree, no? Okay? So, you start from 0 degree and till wherever you have 60, just stop at 60. Wherever, wherever you see 60 degree, no, just put a point there. Hold the protector firmly with the, on the paper and just put a dot at wherever you see 60 degrees. Okay? Mark the 60 degree point. Okay. 
mark the 60 degree point on the plane. Plane means paper. So have you marked 60 degree point on the plane? Yes, ma'am. Everyone done so? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now see children, you have now this point and this center point. Is it? So with your scale, just join these two points. Join these two points with your scale. Join these two points with your scale. Done? Yes, ma'am. So you have joined it with the scale. Very good. Now extend this line slightly further also so that we can put an extend it slightly further. Okay. Now remove your protector from there. Remove your protector and like this, right here, 60 degrees. Done? Yes, ma'am. Great. Now you can name your angle. Just put arrows here. You can name your angle. This may be O, A. The center point is O and this is B. So this is angle A, O, B equals to 60 degrees. Okay? Done? Now show me on the screen. Show me on the screen what have you made. Yes, very nice, Neha. Very good. You have done it so nicely. Good, Bichu. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Neha, you can put down your notebook. Very good, Neha. That's okay. Yes, Lakshita, yours is also very, very nice. Good work, Lakshita. Thank you. Good. Okay, now I give you the task. Okay, now you have understood and you have un understood the steps also. Have you all written the steps? Yes, ma'am. Very no. good. Who has not written? Me, ma'am. I didn't please, know. Please write down so that, okay, you have it with you. Okay. Now I'm writing another question here. Now this you will make. Using the same kind of steps, you will construct an angle of 90 degrees. Okay. Con no, construct. Uh... Construct. And angle construct a ninety degree angle okay. using protector. Okay. Yes, who's this? Bhavish is there. Yes, Bhavish, are you there? Who is there? Okay, construct a six, 90 degree angle using protector. Please do this now. Neha and Lakshita, please do it. Yes, ma'am. Show me how will you make 90 degree angle in the same way as we did for 60 degrees. And please write the steps of construction also. Okay. Yes,
नॉर्मल बताया Yes. Yes, Neha, that's correct. pen. It should only be done with pencil and scale. You have to use only and only pencil and scale. That's it. No pen. Okay? Use pencil and scale. Okay. Now for today, you must, for your homework, you must uh, do make angles 70 degree, 120 degrees. Okay? 160 degrees, angle 45 degrees. Please take these angles using protector. Okay? Using protector. Make these angles. Okay? This will be your today's homework. To construct these angles using protector. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see further. Please note down this, the homework part. But if you are given some angle, will you be able to measure it? Yes, sir. No? Suppose if I, I, have, I have already given you some angle here and I have not written what angle is it. Can you measure it using a protector? How will you do that? You will bring the protector, take Keep the protector so that it, the point also coincides and the baseline also coincides. So you will just keep the protector on this part. Okay. Then you will see this line should be coinciding. Where is this line coinciding with the protector's point? Okay. Where is this line coinciding with the protector? So which At which point is it coinciding with? That means that point on the protector where this line is pointing, we should mark that angle as just put a dot there. Okay? And then, well, do not, don't put a dot, but line is already there. Just write down there what angle, we just check how much angle is it making. Is it making 30 degree, 40 degree or 45? So, just measure it. So, your measurement should be measure angle AOB. And you must write angle AOB is equal to whatever you get. Okay? Whatever angle you get here, you must write here. Understood? Yes, ma'am. This is when you are already given some angle and you just had to measure it. Okay. Now, next is the quadrilateral part. So, quadrilateral... We have already discussed three square. We uh, spoke about rectangle, square, trapezium, and parallelogram. Is it? Yeah. We already yeah. done lot of about parallelogram. Okay. Uh, sorry, about quadrilateral. So quadrilateral has four sides. You all know that all quadrilaterals have. Uh, just write down. All quadrilaterals have four sides. Right. Quadri means. Quad means four. Lateral means sides. So that means any four-sided figure is called a quadrilateral. Whichever figure you get by making four sides, okay, is called quadrilateral. Right? Yes. Okay. So quadrilateral has four sides. You know that quadrilateral has four angles. Okay. It has four angles. Then what do you see in quadrilaterals? It has four vertices. Okay, vertices means this vertex point. This point, this point, this, the vertex points. Then you can see two diagonals. If I join the opposite points, I get two diagonals. Here also I can get two diagonals. Wherever I have four sides, I can get two diagonals. I call them as diagonals. 
joining the opposite points means joining the opposite vertices are called that line is called diagonal okay so it has two diagonals right yes sir okay so we have done the quadrilateral part and we have the, discussed each quadrilateral in detail okay now coming to the three dimensional geometry part so with this your chapter will also get over this is the last topic in this chapter never mind we'll do this today and tomorrow we'll do some good questions okay the chapter questions. Uh, what's the time now? Time is 5.11. So, I, we must do it tomorrow. The class time is over now. Okay, children? Yes, ma'am. So, we'll continue this three-dimensional shapes tomorrow. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, please note down your homework for today. You have to construct 45-degree angle, 70-degree angle. 120 and 160. Please note it down. Note yes. down, please. Ma'am, how many uh, angles and vertices does a quadrilateral has? Uh, see, vertices are these points. The vertex point, no, where, where these two lines meet. Ma'am, vertices. That, that point is called vertex point. Vertex. Okay? Where yes. angle, angle is made by two lines segments okay two rays okay so wherever they meet that point is called vertex okay vertices means it's the plural of vertex it's a plural form of vertex and how many vertex does uh, uh, a quadrilateral have it has four vertices ha huh, quadrilateral has four vertices so it has one point here one point here see Two lines are joining at this point. Two lines are joining at this point. Two lines are joining at this point. So it has four vertices, is it? Yes, sir. So that's how I have said it has four vertices. In every quadrilateral, you can see that. Okay, like this. Everywhere. There is see four-sided figure is there. So wherever these four side two sides will meet, they will form a vertex. Okay? Yes, sir. 